Bridges and fountains. Bridges can be placed over decorative or used reservoirs, as well as dry streams made of stone. Structures can be cast from metal, wooden or concrete. Fountains can be built in a pond or put separately. They can be combined with a grotto and a waterfall. Pergolas and arches. In order to delimit the territory into separate zones and decorate the site, arches are used. They can be metal, wooden and less often stone or concrete. They are often covered with climbing vegetation. Several such connected arches form a pergola. Externally, this structure resembles a green tunnel. It is convenient for dividing the territory and creating protection from the sun. For this purpose, this type of small architectural forms is placed between the house and the gazebo or pool. Lanterns. Lanterns are installed to illuminate the garden area and decorate. The best place for this are in front of the house, along the paths, next to the recreation area. There are monumental structures made of concrete or stone and light and exquisite forged ones. You need to choose products according to style, material and type of wood. 
In sunny regions, solar powered lanterns are convenient, but classical electrical appliances are practical and versatile. Other forms. There are other types of small architectural forms. The largest and most diverse group is the structures used for landscaping the site. These include flower beds and flower pots. Terrain irregulators can be used for a beautiful arrangement of the territory. For example, you can plant flowers on the slope, make multi level flower beds, and for a convenient transition between them, put decorative stairs or just lay out single steps of stone. Fences are also often used in landscape design. They are needed to hide the territory from frying ice, to separate a vegetable garden or recreation area from the main territory, or just for decoration. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.